By any measure, the U.S. defense budget is really big, $738 billion in fiscal year 2020. The critical question is, how much is enough? How much does the United States really need to spend on defense? Defense hawks will tell you that defense spending is at an all-time low, both as a percentage of GDP and a percentage of overall federal spending. Those who would prefer that we spend less money on defense will tell you that the U.S. defense budget is now higher in absolute terms than it was during the height of the Cold War. They'll also tell you that the U.S. defense budget is larger than those of the next seven countries combined. All of these facts are true, but none of them are relevant to determining how big the U.S. defense budget should be. The question where we always need to start is what, do, what does the president, what does the Congress want the military to be able to do? And so from those strategic principles, there are resource implications that flow from that. For example, if the, if the United States decided to cede the Western Pacific to China, if the military just packed up all its toys and went home tomorrow, we could save a lot of money on defense spending. The problem is, in making that decision, we would be sacrificing the U.S. ability to influence the most economically dynamic and vibrant region in the world. And that would have a real impact on every American citizen. The other implication, is that we would be walking away from our alliance commitments in the region. And our alliances are one of our biggest strategic advantages over countries like China and Russia. You need to be cognizant of the fiscal reality. On the one hand, it's possible to get an enormous defense budget, think a trillion dollars a year, and not spend it on the things that are required to execute the national defense strategy that the department is currently operating with. Conversely, you could certainly see a world in which you've got a smaller defense budget, but spent correctly, that they're willing to accept more risk in certain areas. You know, you could spend less and still achieve the objectives outlined in the defense strategy. Faced with the kind of spurious arguments about whether we, defense spending should be higher or lower, Again, the answer here is to go back to the fundamental question. What does the United States military need to be able to do to keep us safe? 